Well guys, we're catching up on the wooden railway items that we left off. So, we're going to be doing the Wooden Railway 2022 Brendam Dock Set and the Tip of Sheds Playset. We'll go over Brendam Docks first. So, what it comes with is Cranky, the cargo car, the cargo pieces, the hoist, the adapters, which I apologize for mentioning them last time, the slide piece, and Bullstrode. So, yeah. Anyway, so here's the box. So, this is what it looks like from from the left and right sides. Then the top, then the bottom of licensing information, and then the back itself. So, yeah. And then, here's the set itself. So, We'll go over Cranky first. So Cranky looks really nice with its details of how amazing it is. And the face looks really nice, giving that, giving a little bit of a Cranky-ish look or anything. And my only gripe is that he does have the unpainted edges which does give a little bit of a callback to Thomas Wood 2018. And we literally know of how bad it was. So the reason that I got this is to replace the wood cranky at the dock set that I've been having since 2018. And it was probably worth it. So this will be replacing these. So yeah, and I have painted up Bullstrode here, just so that he would look complete. Same for Cranky himself. So, yeah, so therefore, these are the versions that I will not be using anymore, and they will be either sent to a garage sale or whatever that I'm gonna go with this. So yeah, these will never be seen again. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, so the details on this, of this 2022 Cranky are nice. On both of the sides and even on the inside of them from night and day. And then the base looks really nice too with the details like you see water, the crates, crabs, seagulls, a cat, crates of apples, and all that. And then you have an orange truck, which I have nothing to say really, with a crate of apples, which is really nice. And then what, what Cranky has on his hook clamp attachment is is the balloons were in a net and I can tell it's made of cloth and I don't mind this at all. And I'm not even too sure about taking off or or cutting off the tag or anything. It looks it looks nice. And this clamp attachment looks really cool as well. And there's a safe place for it. And I really appreciate it a lot. And and the hoist itself looks really nice too. And it literally has those dips just so it would secure the new wooden railway stuff. And for the old wooden railway stuff, they would absolutely would slide off if you literally test them. So yeah, so this is what it looks like for real. That's what it looks like just so that they won't be falling off. They'll be staying there while you lift and unload this hoist onto Bullstrode here. Just like that, which is really, really cool. And speaking of Bullstrode, Bullstrode is massive and huge. So, you had those details on the sides here, and they're literally made of plastic. 
and you had a little bit of wood at the at the front and the back and then you had one of the slide pieces for one of them to sit in and then you had the windows at the front and then the face which is kind of grumpy looking or anything it looks nice and then the ends and then the inside of it has a really good amount of detail and because of how large this is it can literally hold a, a lot more things this is easily in my own opinion the best version of Bullstrode because of how long and massive this is he's he's incredible man he's incredible so yeah oh yeah almost forgot about the slide piece so yeah nothing else to say it, it's nice and i forgot to mention that one of them are designed from oh, one of them are designed like aeg so yeah and it could sit anywhere on Cranky and on Bullstrode as well. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And even one of the sides of him. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the, the instructions of how to put Cranky together. So this is what it looks like. And you can collect wave one and wave two. So yeah. So do I recommend that you get this Brendam Dog set from 2022? Absolutely. This is much better than the wood counterpart. And it looks great. Anyways, I would definitely would recommend this for your kids as if, if they want to have a lot of fun with the playability and have a little bit of their creative freedom or you can just do whatever you want with this. It's, it's impossible. Anyways, now let's move on to the tip of shed set. So here's the box itself. Man, this box is heavy. So yeah, and then the back itself, and then the bottom itself, so yeah, man this box is big, and then the instructions of how to assemble the set together, and how to do the playability. So yeah, anyways, so this is what the set looks like, and what comes with the set is Percy. So let's take a look at it. Percy looks really nice with a really nice nervous face, which it is pretty funny, and it did give me a little bit of a chuckle. So yeah, that's what it looks like, if it could just focus. There we go, that's that's the face there. And then the side had some pretty good detail, like the paint, like they had to complete Percy's red stripes and then had to complete painting up Percy. The back is the same. And then the, the top is basically the same, but without the completed red stripes, two of them. I meant to say. And then a toolbox to fix Percy and a wrench, I think. And then the bottom is exactly the same. So yeah. So this is so here is a little bit of a comparison between this Percy and the normal version of Percy. So yeah. Different, huh? But hey, they're the same exact length because they're short just as they should be. And once again, that one of them are my favorite Percy models because they're shorter in length and not long, and not long like what previous years of Wooden Row I had. So yeah, and th this and the Timbershed's set is literally based on All Engines Go, so it looks really nice. 
of the colors and really nice with the detail on the sides here. You literally had a dog there, and then a butterfly, and then a squirrel, and, and all that. And then the inside of the sheds had a pretty good detail as well. Like a cow, a picture of Thomas, and then the other details on the ground floor even spilled paint. So yeah, that is really nice and attention to detail. You can literally see the clock there. And then you literally see those washer things hanging out. So yeah. And then there are the slide pieces. Each and one of them on what you get in this playset. And one of them literally has a tool like a paintbrush to brush up Percy. So, yeah. Just like that. Just like that, you can just paint up Percy. Really, really nice. But then you literally take Percy to the wash to get cleaned up. And then use this little brush to do that. To get them all clean or get all the engines clean or anything and then there's this little wrench up there to fix up Percy really nice and one of these pieces of, of the of one of those tracks could absolutely rise up if you literally let one of the engines out as I show you So this is what it looks like, and then, boom, they're out. And then spin the turntable, and then send one of the engines on their way. So this looks really nice. My only gripe that I had with this set is the small turntable. I mean, it's literally reminded me of the wood version of Tip of Shed, so yeah. I'm just going to be bringing out James and Gordon just to show you. So yeah, when you literally had one of the bigger tender engines on the turntable and try to turn them, you can literally see that they're way big. They're way too big to fit. So you literally had to do this the on the front. Yeah, you literally have to do this on the front or do it in a different way. Same for the medium-sized engine himself. So yeah, that is my only gripe that I have. So I would give the Tim of Shed set about a nine out of 10. It's really nice for what it is, but it could have been could have a little bit of improved. It could have improved and could have been a little bit of tweaked. It could have been a little bit tweaked here and there. And also look at this when the, the big tenor engines were at Tim of Sheds. Their front is literally sticking out. I mean, you can literally only pull them all the way back like this, and then the tender literally gets off gets off the rails. So yeah. It's literally derailed like that. So, yeah, it could have been a little bit better. But oh well, beggars can be choosers. But like I said, it could have been, it could have had a little bit of tweaks here and there. So that concludes the review on one of my 2022 Wooden Rally playsets. Anyways. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know what are your thoughts on these particular sets. This is Draven Arts Productions signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.